Welcome to Willow Oak. I am here to do a pick a card for you and it's got a central theme which I've selected from the Divine Doors. I shuffle them and just pick this at random and it is the Sacred Lotus which says compassion in action the chosen tool I see now the lotus in your spirit's jewel which is absolutely beautiful and the lotus um, is a symbol of purity, spiritual enlightenment, rebirth. It's actually a very lovely um, flower and it's got a lot of important meanings throughout the world so it's beautiful. And if you look at the image on the back you see there is a door that is just beginning to open and to me it looks like there's a lock there and I would say you're removing the lock okay so here we go so I would say this is about you having some sort of an awakening uh, potentially a new beginning and of course it says right here compassion and action is a chosen tool and so it looks like it is going to be a beautiful time now I'm going to go ahead and pick the piles, but please only take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind, okay? This is pile one, pile two, and pile number three. Okay, if you need to pause the video, please do so and select your pile and I'll see you there. Hi, pile number one. Let's see what came out for you. Okay. We have the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and the Chariot. And all these were, you know, taken at random. I shuffled the decks and pulled them out. So you have two court cards, a king and a queen, and you have a major arcana. So this could be an important time for you all right the king of pentacles is all about having confidence and attracting and managing your wealth it's where you can take your vision and translate it into something that's tangible practical and oftentimes lucrative it's like you're the ultimate business owner and the king of pentacles is known to have this ability to just turn anything into gold. It's got the Midas touch, so that's wonderful. But one of the things I love about him is he's very caring. Okay, now the Queen of Cups, she is the mother archetype, and she's very trustworthy, and she's all about the love. So during this time, you're gonna be very nurturing, caring, supportive, compassionate, and I don't think it's a coincidence that that's part of her energy. And right here it says compassion in action, right? You're highly intuitive, creative, and in flow with the energies around you. So you have two beautiful cards here. Now on to the chariot. The chariot is um, a powerful energy okay it's like you're a driving force you have determination willpower and you're not going to stop at anything to keep you from your success okay you're going to overcome whatever obstacles come your way and you're going to find the balance so you're all about going forward with determination but also in a very loving caring way and it's going to end up probably being quite profitable in some fashion let's go ahead and get one more card yeah I love the sacred lotus mm -hmm. and right underneath it you have compassion 
absolutely beautiful. So the last card out for you is the sun. And the sun is the best card in the deck. Period. It talks about you being surrounded by warmth, radiance, vitality. You're lit up, energized by possibility and growth and success. It's filled with happiness. And it's, you know, like shine your light kind of energy. And so to me, these two have some similarities because to me, this is a very strong card. So is this. Well, so is the King of Pentacles, where right in the center you have all this love and compassion. So it's quite beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and get a charm. You have the globe. So what the globe always reminds me of is expansion and like the world is your oyster kind of feeling that I get from this. But also, look, it fits right in here with the sun. So to me, it's kind of like confirmation of going forward with your dreams and using your compassion. And it's probably going to be profitable, but it's something where you know how to take what it is you want and turn it into reality. And it's going to lead to much happiness. I really hope this helps. Thank you so much, Pile 1. Have a great day. Bye. Hi, Pile Number 2. Let's see what you have. Now, I chose these cards at, ra cards at random by, of course, shuffling the deck. And your pile did not want three cards. Your pile wanted five cards, so we're taking five cards. Um, I guess the universe decided it was an important thing to do, so we're just going to go with what the universe says, right? Right. Okay. Let's see what we have here. You have the Hierophant. Beautiful Ten of Pentacles. The Chariot. Nine of Cups. And the Six of Cups. So you have some absolutely lovely energies here. Okay. So let's talk about the Hierophant for just a minute. The Hierophant makes reference to potentially working with a mentor, a teacher, a guiding authority. It can easily be your doorway to the divine, okay? It's where you're going to expand your knowledge and learn these fundamental principles with a trusted source. So it can talk about here on the earthly plane or your connection with the divine, but it's a time where you're going to be learning something that's quite important to you. So very, very nice energy, and it is a major arcana. So that says this is an important time, okay? It's the only major arcana besides the chariot, but two out of five cards are major arcana, so this could be an important time for you, all right? Now, the Ten of Pentacles talks about how, you know, you accumulated wealth or abundance which can be the same thing okay um, wealth abundance pinnacles it's whatever you consider um, wealth and abundance some people consider money some people think it's happiness and there you know there's more so it's whatever you consider abundance all right and it's been through hard work and dedication but it brings you this great joy to share this abundance with the people you love. And it's also the card of leaving a legacy if you choose. So it is a powerful and beautiful energy. Now on to the chariot. The chariot is a action card. It is a powerful energy. It's where you're a driving force and you're very determined and you have lots of willpower. And you're going to stop at nothing to succeed. Okay? And if there's any obstacles in your path, 
you'll get past that and you'll find a way to make it work. So here you're learning and it could be your connection with the divine. And here, maybe it should go more like this, right? Here, you are very determined, filled with uh, willpower to go forward with what you want. So you're learning, you're going forward, and it looks like it's going to bring you much success. Okay? It's beautiful. And now on to the Nine of Cups. This talks about you as an individual being very satisfied with everything you have. It's like the planets are all aligned just for you, right? Whatever you've wished for. Count your blessings and express gratitude for what you've created. So it's beautiful. Now here, this particular energy is you and the people you care about and love. And this is an individual energy, okay? And this is happiness. And this is wealth. And now here you have the Six of Cups, which I just love this energy. It is a nostalgic energy where you're filled with all these happy memories from the past that tend to make you smile, okay? Um, it's a creative time. And it's where you're bringing harmony and cooperation into your relationships. And it can also say that somebody from the past has a potential to be coming back into your life. Or if it's not a person, it could be an idea, something that you want to create, which would fit right in here beautifully. Okay. So say, moving these again. <laughs> okay. Say if it's something you want to create but you haven't done it and then it potentially could be something from childhood so you learn about it you go forward with it and you manage to make whatever opposing forces there are work together to bring this into fruition which gives you and those you love much abundance and happiness so it's beautiful and you have the sacred lotus as, you know, the overall theme here. Compassion in action. Right? So, whatever is going on here, you will be filled with compassion and love. Okay. Let's get a card from the universe to see what they would like to share. Potentially more. Depends on what comes out. You have the Hierophant. Very, very interesting. Okay, the Hierophant is about you learning, and it can be your connection with the Divine. And you have it here. So, this is the universe's way of saying, I meant what I said. You know, it kind of doubles the strength, or is making this big emphasis on this. So, it's important during whatever time frame this is for you to connect with the divine and or take the time to learn about whatever this is that you're wanting to create okay all right let's close this out with the charm what do we have we have a star okay and a star is what you wish for, you can make come true. Just like, you know, what we've grown up with, wishing upon a star. So if this is something that you truly want, you can really make it happen. It's a beautiful charm. Thank you so much. I hope this helps. And have a wonderful day. Much love. Bye. Hi, pile number three. Welcome. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. Oh, and just to let you know, these were chosen at random by shuffling the cards, okay? And the universe decided you needed three of these, not one, okay? 
And so I just do what the universe wants. Just the messenger, right? Okay, let's see what we have here. You have the Wheel of Fortune twice. And it is bookending the reading. So you begin with the Wheel of Fortune, you end with the Wheel of Fortune. And when something comes up twice, that's the universe's way of saying it meant what I said, that this is important for you, you know, to deal with, to understand, because it looks like it's definitely coming to pass. So it's like these energies are within this energy, okay? And now the Will of Fortune says that the will is turning in your favor. This is going to be a, a good time coming for you, okay? But the Will of Fortune does keep spinning, all right? So the will turns and it's always evolving, always moving and shifting. What goes up must come down, vice versa. So you can see within here that what you are creating is balance. It's a give and take energy. It is one where if you need something, it will come to you, okay? It's very balanced. And here, the Three of Wands is talking about whatever this is that you're wanting or beginning, it is here for you. But that you can't just sit and wait. You have to pursue it. You have to go for it, okay? And Temperance is where you're discovering how to create balance and harmony in your life, which is huge. You find alignment and a sense of peace with your external surroundings. And if you tend to be introverted, that's a really big deal. But it's a big deal regardless. You're finding peace and balance. And you can see here's this journey where you're finding enlightenment. So I think it's just beautiful. So what this is saying is the will of fortune is turning. You're creating balance. And if there's something you need, it's going to be coming in for you. And what, the, what it is that you want is here. You just have to take a look and see and pursue it. And it's going to create balance and harmony. So you have two cards about balance right and if you are balanced it is harmonious so you be in the flow with the universe okay the will of fortune is turning so there is a possibility that what's been going on up till now could possibly not have been balanced or your perception of it anyway okay and the sacred lotus compassion in action and, of course, you get this feeling where there's balance, there's compassion. I see now the lotus in your spirit's jewel. So it's absolutely beautiful. Whatever is coming in for you is a change. And it's one that's going to be creating balance. But this card definitely does say you will have to go and get it. It is here for you. But you can't sit. you got to go for it. Okay? So let's get a card from the universe, or more. It depends on whatever the universe wants, right? So this is for pile number three. Can we please get a card from the universe? Okay, thank you very much. Beautiful, the King of Pentacles. That is a powerful energy. It's a mature energy. And being a king, of course, you know, control. There's control. You have control over whatever is going on here. You're confident, attracting and managing wealth. And you can translate your vision into something that is tangible, practical, and oftentimes lucrative. You're known as the ultimate business owner and you tend to have the Midas touch. You know, whatever ideas you come up with and you work on those, they tend to turn to gold. In other words, they tend to be profitable. 
So that's a beautiful energy from the universe, okay? Yeah, so look forward to definite changes and good ones filled with harmony, balance, and this beautiful King of Pentacles energy. But do remember, you have to actually go for it. You can't just sit on the couch, okay? Let's close this out with a charm. <laughs> okay, you have french fries. Now what can that mean? When I first saw it, I didn't see french fries. I kind of giggled, and the reason I giggled is because I didn't see the word fries. And I was thinking this was a bucket full of tools. All right? And so for me, I guess putting those two together a little bit, to me that means what you want is right here for you. Kind of like this. You know, imagine this being in here. You just have to go get it. All right? It is full. Which would remind me of the King of Pentacles. It is full. You have to go get it. It is here for you. But nobody's going to sit there and feed you one at a time. Right? You're going to have to go for it. But it's beautiful. You go for it, it's yours. And the will of fortune is turning in your favor and bringing in balance and harmony. Much compassion. And it's going to be a profitable time. So thank you so much. I truly hope this helped. And have a wonderful day. Much love. Bye. Thank you, everybody who came into this pick a card. I really appreciate it. I hope it helped. If you like it, please give it a like, share, subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed the theme and found value in that as well. Compassion in action. Have a wonderful day. Much love. Bye.